Hi, it's Taz, back from CES. So one of the hottest products on the show floor this year was a toy called the AR Drone from Parrot. Basically what it is, it's a four propeller uh, helicopter, though they called it a quadricopter, and it flies up in the air, left, right, up, down, and you can navigate where this thing goes using your iPhone. Now I saw this, and though they were calling it a toy, I saw this, and as a filmmaker, I wondered, well, how do I stick a camera on that thing so I can get some really cool flying shots? Well, as it turns out, there are already two cameras built into it. Now, those cameras are used to feed live video and to help with stabilization and such, but, uh, but I think it could be a pretty cool filmmaker's toy. So uh, here's someone from the company to tell you more about the product and the cameras. Take a look. Hi, I'm Francois Calou from Parrot. So this is our AR drone. It's, uh, it's meant to be a, a video game. It's a device uh, for cell phone, and iPhone. it works with well iPhone right now. So you can pilot it over the iPhone. So here we've got one camera. It's the front one, and uh, then you can uh, film uh, everything. And there is another one underneath. You can have the, the video streaming on the iPhone if you want. Uh, it's also used to stabilize the, the helicopter. So this is the front camera. Then you, you can swap if you want. This is the under, underneath camera. Here I can film you. And then you can have both of them. Here is the, the little one. In the future, yes, you, you, you will be able to record the, the two video streaming and do whatever you want. Now that's pretty promising. It sounds like it has the potential of recording video, but here's the bad news. This is actually the second guy that I spoke to. The first guy I spoke to was more of a, a marketing guy with a suit and everything. He told me flat out in a very thick French accent that there was no way this thing was going to record video. I'm not sure why. Maybe it was a privacy issue. Maybe there's you know some other uh, aspects involved that I wasn't really aware of, but he made it seem like there's just it's just not going to happen. But then I met this guy outside, as well as a few of the other engineers, and they were like, yeah, absolutely, it'll record your game so you can play them back. So who's to say really what, what's going to be the case once the product is finally released? But at least it has the potential of recording video. But you know, here's the thing. I saw so many video cameras at CES that were like this big and, and were pretty light that recorded directly to flash memory. So I'm thinking, well, is it really going to make that much of a difference to the quadricopter to just stick a little one of these flash cameras on the front? I suspect you'll get a better frame rate, better quality picture using one of these tiny little cameras just stuck on the, stuck on the nose of the quadricopter. Who knows? We'll see. The product will be released soon enough and maybe I can wrestle one out of Parrot's hands. Uh, but until then, this is Taz for Handheld Hollywood. Thanks for watching.